What's up guys, it's Atak Advice, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing. So, before I get started, I'd like to wish you guys a Merry Christmas. I know there's two weeks left, but um, I guess it's a really exciting time of the month. And uh, today I'm going to be unboxing a lawn um, decoration for Christmas. So, this one I chose the penguin. There's many uh, choices you could go through. I chose the penguin just because it looks cool and I like penguins. And uh, you can also choose from Santa. Um, you could choose from a snowman that's 8 feet, uh, but this one's 7 feet or 2.1 meters. So, I chose this one instead. Um, and uh, I got this one for $44.99 uh, with taxes came to 50 something and um, to be honest it's a really good buy because I went to Walmart and I saw this one for uh, not the same one but they have different brands I saw this for like a hundred dollars and they were just like five feet and this one's seven feet and I got it for 44 from Canadian Tire so if you live in Canada go ahead and pick it up from Canadian Tire instead of Walmart or something like that but if you live in the US uh, I'd suggest Target that's like the best place you get it, I guess. I'm not really sure if they sell it though. Uh, so I'm gonna be unboxing this. It's made by Airblown Inflatable. I'm pretty sure they have a site. If you guys want to check it out, they have other products, great ones. Uh, this one's actually really cool. That's why I chose this one. Um, and it's 2.1 meters once again, seven feet, uh, just taller than most of us, I guess. And um, I guess uh, they have French side and stuff like that. But over here they have information. It's waterproof, I guess. So it's great in water or snow. Uh, even though it didn't snow a lot this year, but um, it also works on AC power. So that's actually really cool. And uh, then we just have it in French all over. And yeah, it's just in French. Uh, but that doesn't really matter. So it lights up, that's what it says and stuff, and uh, yeah, it's basically the same on all sides. And uh, here's the bottom, I guess, if you guys want to see. Nothing on it. Um, and then you guys have the top, which is uh, basically some straps you have to take off and stuff. So air blown inflatable, guys. Alright, now I'm going to take these straps off and then just open it up. And I already opened it up because uh, my camera ran out of space when I was filming earlier. So uh, now I'm refilming it. And here you guys go, this already opened because I already cut the tape off with my knife and... Uh, I guess uh, I'm going to be taking uh, the box out of the box, so boxception, I'm going to actually be taking this out, I guess I'll just slide it out somehow. Right now I'll just set this, side, uh, uh, this box aside. Alright, now we already have the other box, it's already open, just set this knife aside. Alright, we already have it open, I had to open it up earlier. And uh, I guess I'll show you guys the contents inside, it's just a plain box, that was just the labeling on the box, on the other one. And uh, once you open it up, you have, it basically looks like this, it's all cluttered up and everything, so you have to remove some stuff. But, uh, you over here right now, these are like the pins that you have to pin down to the ground so that it doesn't go flying off when like it, it snows and there's a lot of wind going on. Uh, so you have like some string, uh, rope or whatever to like hold it tight. And um, yeah, that's basically all you got some pins to put into your ground. And it works indoor and out, so that's actually really cool. Um, you don't have to use the pins indoor, obviously. Then you basically have instruction books, which I really suggest you read for something especially this big. I mean, you don't want to go out of control and go flying because you didn't pin it down properly. So um, I guess always read the instructions. Alright, then basically you have the, um, I guess the penguin itself, the inflatable penguin, and um, I guess I'll take it out right now, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up inside my house before I do put it outside, and um, I'll leave it inside for like a couple of days, and then I'll put it outside, but I'll show you guys how it looks inside, uh, so let me just take this out and I'll uh, show you guys that. Alright, so it came out and there's nothing left except for this box, which I'll also set aside with all of the contents inside. Alright, then you have the penguin itself in this little neat bag here. And uh, all you have to do is just take it out and I guess set it up, read the instructions and everything. So I'll go ahead and do that indoors right now. And I'll show you guys the, um, the finished result inside. But if you guys want to see what's in the bag, it's just this wire and the bottom of the penguin itself. So uh, I'll go set it up right now. Alright guys, so here we are with the actual inflatable uh, penguin. I'm not sure if you guys can actually hear me well enough because um, there is sort of a whirring sound uh, because the fan is going off and blowing it up. And um, I read the instructions and everything and what it said was um, 
First off, uh, you have to uh, make sure that you actually secure it to the ground so that it doesn't fly away uh, because that could be potentially dangerous and do set it up when uh, there's no wind outside or anything like that. And I'll probably be setting this up one week before Christmas outside but uh, I'm going to be deflating it right now, I, just a second after. But there is sort of a sound coming out of the bottom and they said that you can leave it on all night if you want all day. Um, you don't have to take the plug out and you can't take the plug out or else it will actually deflate. And uh, I just have to fix the ribbon here for a second so it looks uh, like an actual ribbon instead of crumpled up. So um, honestly, it looks really nice. It's really worth it. I mean, $44 for this. It's a great buy. And uh, um, and also, it doesn't waste a lot of electricity. I, I was sort of worried because it'll be on all night. You never know how much it uses. But apparently, it uses as much as a, uh, a string of holiday lights, which is great. And uh, Penguin's head is sort of has to be like moved and everything. But as you guys can see, the light is sort of, when I move it, the light moves inside because uh, it's just a lamp inside uh, so that it doesn't like burn anything inside of it. So you can leave it on all night, that's what it says, and uh, there's a wire right there, it's a normal AC wire. So if I just pull it out, it'll shut off and start deflating, but I don't want that to happen. And uh, you guys can, I'll give you a sneak peek at the bottom, I guess. I'm not sure how well, well you can see it or hear me right now, but there is a fan at the bottom that's uh, uh, make, keeping it going, I guess, and it's sucking w wind. And uh, when, when I put my hand under there, you can feel wind coming out and coming in, so uh, that's actually really cool. And uh, there's these little, oh, I don't know what these are, but uh, that's how you pin it to the ground. And there's also spikes that you have to put in under these and under uh, and uh, held on with the string. So uh, here's the back of it. You guys can see the lamp. I'll move it in again. So it's not close to this or anything, so it won't pop. Uh, I just have to like adjust it a little bit, the ribbon, fix it up, uh, make it look pretty. But it, it is really nice. I mean, it's a great buy for Christmas. And uh, I mean, it, it almost touches the roof. As you guys can see, there's probably uh, about uh, this much clearance from his eyes to the, here, uh, uh, near my roof right now. So, uh, I mean, it is pretty tall, I guess. Uh, outside, it looks really nice, though. So, you basically have his hat right there. Then you have the penguin itself, great-looking penguin. And then you have its arms and its fat body. Then you have its legs. Uh, at first, the legs weren't... Uh, inflating, but that was because uh, I had them all like scrump scrumpled up and everything like that, and I was scared it might pop, so I turned it off, I spread it all apart, and that's when I started blowing it up. But it looks really, really nice, guys. Uh, honestly, it's probably the best buy for Christmas uh, if you want to decorate your lawn. And uh, here's another place where you have to put on the string to attach it to the ground. And that's basically all, guys. That's all you have to uh, uh, see, I guess. There's nothing else you guys want to know. Uh, it's arms, I guess. And if you guys have any questions, I mean, feel free to inbox me or anything about this. So uh, I guess I'll just pull out the plug right now. Or keep it running so you guys can tune out of this. But uh, it's a great buy, guys. So I suggest you guys go get it if you want. Um, it looks really, really nice. So here, I'll give you guys a last look. That's a full body look of it. I just uh, put my camera in portrait mode right now. So it's going to be flipped over for you guys, but I'm sorry. It's the best I can do. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video guys. Hit the subscribe button up top if you guys would like and uh, the like button if you guys actually enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys did enjoy it and once again Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays.